This is handicap friendly. There's stairs on this side. It's a little steep here, but you could get a scooter or a wheelchair up this side. There's stairs that go down there. And then here, you could actually use your scooter over here to get down. Also, this way is not a slope. So you could actually go this way. Mobility friendly. You could come in here, scoot in, come in here, and come in here and eat in this section. So this is mobility friendly. So I have a, what was that sandwich? The brat burger. Brat burger to go because the, um, the beef wasn't quite well done. So they gave me this as a replacement to go. So this is the apple strudel, apple strudel, apple strudel, apple strudel, apple strudel, and uh, vanilla ice cream. Looks like there's a little sugar cookie, a little there. cookie there, which probably be mine because I like those. Well, we'll have to tell you what that tastes and, like. And uh, that looks good. This looks it? like a little cutting board. I've never had my dessert brought to me on a cutting board. It's got a little sauce here, it's probably. And this is authentic a sauce or something. German way to serve dessert. Well, our strudel has arrived and we have arrived inside where it's warm. The ice cream I was saying is Talk about uh, cookies and cream. The cookie is stuck down in the ice cream, so I want to take a bite of that and tell you what it is. It tastes okay. like those cookies that come in a tin can, the Danish ones. Mm. Crispy. Mm. Even the part that was down in the milk is crispy. It's like a shortbread. Mm. It tastes just like the ones that come in those Danish cans. Really good. Mm -hmm. okay, and just regular vanilla ice cream, right? It tastes like old-fashioned vanilla ice cream to me. Old-fashioned. Very old-fashioned. Mm -hmm. Extra vanilla. Good, we're just enjoying our dessert here because we were outside and it was cold. Right? I, I think what it came into. There's the strudel. I've never had a dessert on a cutting board. Or as I, the, I first called it strudel. Strudel? I don't know what this sauce is. It's on there. The sauce is on there. What is that it? That is really good ice cream. What is that sauce? What kind of sauce comes out of strudel? I don't know. Mm. Mm. It's different. Wow. It's very flavorful. Very. I don't know what it is. Wow. Beer caramel. Caramel? Beer caramel. Beer caramel. They make it in house every day. And it's got um, mm. apples in it? It doesn't taste like beer, by the way, or I wouldn't be able to eat it. Mm. Wow, that is so good. Even though the apples are inside cooked and crispy, it's not like the kind you buy in a grocery store. The apple is still hard and a little crunchy on the inside, but yet it's hot. Um, very flaky, very flaky and good. You know how Europeans know how to do breads and flaky crusts. Wow, mm. this is very authentic. Nothing like I've ever had. Mm. And the ice cream. I don't even know if you can buy that around here. We'll have to find out the secret to that. Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna take a little bit of my ice cream and you know how you take your burrito and put hot sauce inside. Well, I'm gonna put some ice cream right in there, right in there like that and take a bite. Mm. Mm. In America, they give you this dessert in a bowl. I put the ice cream with it. I guess in Europe, they keep the ice cream and the pastry separate. 
We can tell we like it. Ooh. We just keep eating it before we show you that we have thumbs up. <laughs> yeah, that's some. Um... <laughs> There's an extra flavor. There's an extra flavor in this vanilla ice cream that I don't know. It's like a, either it's adding extra vanilla flavor to it, but then it wouldn't be, no, it's not vanilla. There's something else in this ice cream. That's probably, I'll take that home for you, okay, baby? What's, in, what the, what's the ice cream? That's not just straight vanilla ice cream. That's got something special in it. How do you know what the ice cream is? I know there's some beer caramel in there. There's a little bit of that apple strudel stuff that we make in there. Mm -hmm. And this, well, this is unique. Never had it. But this is not, this isn't just scooped out of some container. Oh no. Okay, so this is a special made ice cream only here. It has the beer caramel and some extra ingredients in it. I knew it. I knew it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And this is our waitress, Stephanie. Hi. Make sure you see her. Oh yeah. When you come. Definitely. She did a great job. Love All right, you much. Take your time, baby. Subscribe to the channel. Yep. We're just the way. Mm. <laughs> Are you jealous yet? Let me tell you, it's been a lot of years where I was not able to do this. Thank you, Lord, for letting us be here. And uh, mm -hmm. we want to. Thank Jesus. Thank you. We thank the Lord for this. Amen. Look at this. We cleaned it up pretty much. Mm. Before we decided. If you want. Oh, you need to. Oh. <laughs> we had to. You can oh. tell we liked it because oh. Oh. we were. Oh. Nom, 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 nom. We had to wow. eat it all before we could give you a thumbs up. <laughs> Let you know that if you want something unique, a flavor that you haven't had, uh, mm. this is the place. If you're coming here just for that stream, wow. we're going to fight over this last bit of ice cream. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that it was called beer caramel, but it doesn't taste like beer. So, and of course, beer is a fermented. So maybe it's car the caramel is fermented in some way that makes it uh, uh, taste like that. But yes, yeah, unique. I mean, if you want to lick the plate. Now you have to lick the board. If you want to lick the board, you can lick the board. <laughs> and it does. It looks just like a cutting board. All right, so. The hot chocolate is good too. Thumbs up. This is the Brat Burger tavern. Wild Bear Tavern. Um, we sat outside. There was no tavern outside. <laughs> and um, it's a nice, nice uh, place to eat. Donnie cut my bun. He added some radishes. It's got the purple cabbage here. And um, it's a brat. And it's got the uh, German. It's German. German food. Um, purple. Purple coleslaw. Not coleslaw. Um, sauerkraut. The purple sauerkraut on the burger. Which cannot spell or pronounce. And um, I tried, you know, when I went up to Ober Gatlinburg, I tried, I put regular, regular sauerkraut on my burger. I might have invented that because I haven't ever heard anybody else have that on theirs. But this is um, the red sauerkraut on the burger. So, the, the pickle came with it, did it? This pickle came with it? Mm-hmm. Is it a dill? 
got a, it's whatever it is. A little sourness I, to it. It seems, it seems like a little garlicky. Uh -huh. Maybe a garlic dill or a little more German. It might have a little a little garlic, but it's not strong garlic. Has the sour. I didn't jump back when I tasted it. It tasted pretty normal to me. It's a sour pickly taste to it. Of course, the radishes I love. Radishes, if they're not too hot. <laughs> yeah, they're it, not too hot. It did not come with the, the meal. So, the uh, purple cabbage. Reheated in the oven, the little oven toaster oven thing with the burger. It's not even hot. What is it? The burger and the kraut. But I, I don't think the kraut was hot when they gave it to me. I, originally when I tried to bite at the restaurant but it wasn't fully cooked, the burger. I fried that burger in a pan until it melted the cheese on top. So I figured if I melted the cheese on top, the burger's got to be hot. I didn't want to overcook it or change the flavor of it. Hope it's okay. It's a big burger. It is a big burger. <laughs> it like covers half my face, you know. But. Now that it's fully cooked, because the problem was I really could only taste a bite of it at the edge at the restaurant because it wasn't fully cooked. It was really pink and I can't eat food like that because sensitivity of stomach, it makes me kind of uh, get food poisoning if my meat is not fully cooked. So this is mm, this is really good. The red cabbage. This is German cuisine. Authentic. Authentic German cuisine. I recommend it. Wild Bear Tavern. And uh, in de decent weather, you can eat outside. They do have an inside area as well. But the outside has nice tables, umbrellas, and uh, uh, the parkway, the traffic goes by. So you can, you can watch that. And then I guess this is the brat. The brat. It's got a little mm -hmm. bit of stuff on it. That is spicy. Definitely spicy. It's not my favorite kind of spicy meat, but um, but it does taste it does taste good. It's it's okay, you know. But I mean, someone who likes spicy food would absolutely love it. For me, it's like, you know, thumbs up. I can eat it. It's okay. The burger, the burger is really good. Now, if I was to eat the burger with the broth, I like it better that way. To have the burger, it wasn't the broth supposed to be on the burger. Uh huh. Donnie took it off. It tastes better mixed together with the burger and the red cabbage. Definitely. The combo is really better for me. It takes it because it's not quite so spicy. The broth. Definitely. Thumbs up. And he gave me my this is healthy to eat the 
the grapefruit with the uh, the white the right skin part on it. You just you just cut off the outside part and you eat it. It's it's actually healthy. So that's the way we eat it. Thumbs up. It's funny. So I said he could put the brat on the side two days ago, but that was two days ago. I don't remember today. <laughs> he goes, you told me to. I didn't remember. But so I ate a little bit of the brat uh, with my um, burger and it was good. And then I gave a couple bites to the husky and she loved it. She was looking at me. So I thought, I wonder if she would like this. Yep. She liked it. <laughs> She's can be funny. She doesn't always like stuff, but she liked it. So after I taste tested it, I went ahead and took the bun, took off all the red cabbage off of it because I know the husky doesn't want to eat that. <laughs> I had to scrape that off. And um, I tossed her the bun, the bottom and the top bun. So that's how I save myself the carbs is that I'm eating the the burger with the, um, the red cabbage and I'm giving the dogs the bun. <laughs> Thumbs up.